Hello everyone, this is Howard of AV Transfers on the avtransfers.co.uk YouTube channel. How you doing? I hope that you're all keeping well and um, continuing to hunt for your vintage video and film items. Um, we run a business here in Borehamwood and uh, that's what we do, digitizing the old things. And I'm a bit of an avid collector of mysterious formats uh, today's format not too mysterious but uh, the content quite interesting let me show you so what i've done is i did a bit of i'm always trawling ebay for all sorts of weird and wonderful things and i came across a, a collector of of laser discs i suspect somebody who is perhaps uh, was in the trade um and when i first got into uh, digital video well, i suppose laser disc was pretty much the first thing that i saw that was digital ish ish because it wasn't totally digital and when you used to go to the, sh the stores the hi-fi stores that obviously are no longer around um you'd find places that had demo systems in their av room you know they had a big 29 inch uh video screen and they had a laser disc player or maybe a few and stereo speakers or maybe pro logic speakers and they'd always be demoing something. This is long before DVD. So we're talking probably late 80s, I guess, would be in terms of my reference. Um, and yeah, so this sale, I found a whole bunch of these very interesting discs. So these were demo discs that were supplied, uh, I suppose, to the trade, either by the distributors or by the manufacturers. And they used to showcase the format by producing really high quality uh, recordings on on laserdisc uh, to to show to wow the customers you know if you've got 5 minutes to demo a system you know you need to impress them very quickly to to cough up the dough to buy a system and it wasn't hard to do because everything else was just so rubbish by comparison in those days but um, generally a disc you get, uh, I don't know if you can read that, but generally I'll just tell you here, you know, it give you a background story of the, the laser disc technology, a demonstration. Here's Luciano Pavarotti um, singing, I suppose this is, uh, hmm, doesn't say what he's singing. Oh, Ness and Dorman. Okay. Ness and Dorman. That was quite a good one. Uh, what is cinema? DSP, DSP, a movie, Rob Roy. Another uh, DSP scenario, Dolby Digital Surround Sound Demo, Stargate, wow. Uh, Tri-Field Processing. So these, these things used to show, you know, how you should set up your, your surround sound system with a very optimistic screen for, for standard definition uh, with all the speaker placements, if your wife or girlfriend would let you put it in. <laughs> and, um, and these are kind of the movies of the time. This one, okay, copyright 1996, so perhaps... A bit later than some of the others um so that's one i got hold of there's another one i mean i try to get a few more there were unfortunately a couple were snapped up uh, for somebody else uh, which were particularly pal ones but my interest is more in the ntsc discs because in where i come from originally south africa uh the majority of the material was ntsc uh we didn't really get a lot of of the pal stuff we didn't need to because the american stuff came in a lot earlier than than the the pal version and also the quality was pretty much much better because there was a lot less dropout on the, on the laser discs this is another one yamaha digital home theater 2 uh, and this one's also got uh, dsp logos movies like the abyss lawrence of arabia ghostbusters i mean wow what year is this one let's have a look see 94 so this is slightly earlier um ray charles now i'm going to try and show you a little bit of this in the video um because it's it's quite charming you know who makes demonstration discs to showcase their things you know that, that this, this kind of ship has sailed um long ago i've uh, obviously if you go into a hi-fi showroom and where are the hi-fi showrooms there are a few maybe in a high-end uh, john lewis or uh, maybe the odd curries that kind of thing around the uk but there's not a lot i mean i know the big dealers in the states like fries electronics are long gone um I believe there was one uh, in in uh, BNH in New York. I, I suspect they're mostly online now. Um, so you know that whole era is gone. You know, walk into a hi-fi shop. That's kind of why I like my office and my studio. It kind of reminds me of when I was a kid and I and I walk into a hi-fi shop and wow, there's you know just piles of equipment. 
really really good memory for me so i guess i've kind of recreated it in this kind of crazy space that i've got here so uh but yeah but honestly moving on from laserdisc i mean dvd had some showcase discs i don't think a lot of them were were, were manufactured but you know i haven't looked into that and then subsequent to that they switched to hard drive systems where um if you went into a shop you'd see a manufacturer's name and you'd see various clips of I don't know, butterflies and city scenes and balls bouncing and all sorts of things just to showcase the hd technology which came out i suppose what 2010 somewhere around there um and i actually have one of those uh data players it's a panasonic and that's specifically designed and full of all original demos of hd uh, videos um, i must check on the copyright of those because i'd like to post some of those as well but that's a very interesting little box with all sorts of inputs and outputs and you can stream these videos which are an mpeg 2 hd which is very interesting but going back uh, a bit more there are a couple more of these demo discs i think this one is a Ah, a Sony one. There was one on Sony XBR, which I really wanted, which I didn't get. Um, but this one's kind of nice. ProLogic. I just love the artwork. I mean, this you could kind of just put up in a window somewhere. Or, you know, one of those frames. And again, um, you know, movies of the time. What Yeah, 94 Sony. So I guess Sony titles. So there's a demonstration of Mona versus Surround Sound Stereo. Um, but the typical things, a lot of opera, jo Jose Carreras, Placida Domingo, obviously ap appealing to the sort of uh, audiophile market, um, not the mass market. Now everyone's got stereo, everything. Um, in the line of fire, Fisher King. I mean, talk about 94. Uh, Thunderhawk, Hudson Hawk. Hudson Hawk, Hudson Hawk. That's Bruce Willis, yeah. Uh, La Bamba. Glory, okay. Very interesting. But the one that I remember, I think this may even be the earliest one. Um, and I don't know. Let me see, I'm just looking for a year on this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this one, this is the one I remember. And I'll tell you why. I got a Laserdisc player. It must be 90s. Okay, I, I thought it was 80s. Maybe I was eyeing them in the 80s, but in the 90s, they became sort of more available. <clears throat> and this was the disc. I think I, I knew someone at the hi-fi shop, and they, they gave me this disc with the machine, which is really nice. I used to go in the hi-fi shops. I was, a, I was a regular what's new this week kind of thing. That was my internet of its day. Um, and this one is the one I remember. This is what, what got me excited about these auctions um this is the one of the earlier demonstration discs i'm not even sure if this has digital sound let me have a look here the oldest date i see on this yeah this oldest date on this one is 1987 okay so that would suggest to me this is probably pre-digital audio so basically a disc could contain analog composite video and analog audio and there was nothing else Maybe a time code and a bit of sub data of some kind, but really housekeeping stuff, not anything else. On this one, this is more telling of its time. Top Gun, Star Trek, The Voyage Home, The Never Ending Story, Rigoletto, eh, Swan Lake, eh, Piano Concerto Number One, eh, Oasis, that's not the band Oasis, this is a jazz GRP kind of title, which I also kind of like. Paper in Fire is John Cougar Mellencamp. And the reason I know all these off heart is because I'd watched this disc like a gazillion times. Because I didn't have any other discs. I couldn't afford them. So all I had was this one disc and I used to watch it because we couldn't I couldn't afford titles. I was, you know, early early twenties. I didn't have a lot of money. I just like just like sold practically sold my shoes to get the machine and the one disc and this was all i had and it was pre-internet we couldn't buy discs so i was lucky i had a few friends and we used to sort of swap on a weekly basis a couple of discs we had i mean there was really a very little to, to to get so this was like my come over mates and come see the surround sound kind of thing in the crunch that i don't remember that might be different to the one i had so i'm going to pop this one in just for a minute um and show you a bit of that. I hope that's okay. That's my kind of show and tell for today. There's lots of cool stuff I want to show you guys. But it's a, getting around to display it and set it up that I know it all works and, and that kind of thing. But let's take a look. We're going to take a look here at just the beginning. 
the Yamaha Overview and the Compact Disc CD Video LaserDisc DSP technology. If I remember correctly, there's some really corny extras in this one. Some guy going, ah. yeah. And uh, <clears throat> this is still, I kid you not, a sealed, a sealed disc. I think all of these are actually sealed. Yeah, this is a virgin, virgin, terrible word to use, but it is a virgin copy of the Yamaha Home Digital Theater. Let's open it. I have a blade. I normally use this for cutting video, editing video tapes. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Am I going to do this without bollocksing it up? Oh, it's slowed down to slow motion. Do, 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 do. Uh, Lordy no. It's a good blade, I think. Ah, oh, you see, that was the trick with these things you want to cut them without destroying destroying anything inside or even the plastic that you could kind of oh this is cool it's got a smell it's got like a it's got like a smell you know when things when, when manufacturing was special things even had a smell okay it's digital audio the audio on this laser disc has been digitally mastered mm, from a digital source um to take advantage of the incredible sound, there's demonstration material for the Yamaha Digital Home Theater. Try and find a Yamaha Digital Home Theater laser disc player anywhere. I've seen like one or two uh, in my life. I've not seen any of them come up on eBay ever. And I suspect it's to do with the fact that they all either never sold them here in the UK or they all conked out years ago and the only ones still going are the Pioneers and the Sonys. Um, but that's just a guesstimate. No compression or sound modification was used. So basically the digital sound was kept in its full dynamic range, which is the big thing about digital. Now, if you listen to your iTunes now or any other Spotify, all these guys, they're brilliant. The content is fantastic. No argument there. But the dynamic range has been so squished down to just a little band and everything's maximized. So it's all kind of coming at you at the same time, which is just the way the world is. The world is kind of coming at everybody all the time, isn't it? So let's take a look. Uh, I can't play the, the music, unfortunately, but uh, I would love to share the music with you. Um, I guess if you do want me to, to send you a copy of this, uh, let me know in the comments and I might be able to Dropbox it to you. But uh, not really my thing to do that kind of thing, to be honest. But I'm sure, you know, I'm sure we might just find it somewhere else. I'm sure there are probably more of these discs kicking around. So that aside, um, let's take a look. Let's, oh, we take the disc out. Oh, now I wonder if the laser disc is going to have a resurgence like the record did. I can't imagine it will because the the hardware is just too complex, you know. Um, whereas record players are quite easy to, basic ones are easy to make. Um, oh, look at this. This is cool. This is very cool. So here's the disc. Oh. Now, I always used to have this. Program material has been recorded on the other side of the disc. So, basically, it used to always confuse people. This is the label side, and this is the side that goes down, but it's actually playing this side, and vice versa, versus vice versa, versus vice versa, vice versa, versus vice versa. Yeah, so this is, this is actually blank, this side. Um, and if you look at it, it's got that sort of really groovy, shiny thing. 1988 that's probably the first time i've opened a brand new disc from this year let's pop it in and have have a quick look see shall we okay so this is an ntsc disc i've just powered up and saved you the the, the boredom of watching me switch everything on this is a 21 inch sony on underscan it's full scan underscan and this is the laser disc we're going to use it on today. This is uh, NTSC DVL909. This was one of the last laser disc players, not quite the one from the regular show, but uh, a really nice laser disc player. And this plays DVDs, I think all zones DVDs, and uh, NTSC laser discs. Um, so let's, let's open that up. Let's pop that in. Let's have a look, see. Let's see if it's going to open. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, pop it in. And uh, let's have a look-see. Let's see what we get. I'm not going to do a direct uh, feed from this, but uh, it's just a bit of fun, right? Okay, Laserdisc. Now compare this to a Blu-ray player. 
when you put a Blu-ray disc in. Okay, when you put a Blu-ray disc in a Blu-ray player, you're going to wait a long, long time. How long was that? Yep, there we go. So, yep, it's up, it's running. The, this is cool. Let's hope we get some sun. Okay, maybe I'll kill the house lights. Stand by. Kill the house lights. Kill the house lights. Here is a feature. Oh, there goes my slide scanner. Sorry about that. Try and... Uh, Oh. Okay, put that away. Kill the house lights. Kill the house lights. Now, also, what's interesting about this disc, now that I think about it, oh, it was recorded in CAV, or constant, constant angular velocity, uh, which means you can pause it. Uh, every revolution is one frame. So, kind of cool. Okay, let's play it. So that you can pause and so on. ago, the man who founded Yamaha set the company's goal to enable people to enjoy more meaningful lives. Today, beginning its second century, Yamaha remains deeply committed to that ideal. At the center of that commitment is music and our devotion to the enjoyment of music as a means of human enrichment. Each Yamaha product reflects our determination to reproduce sound with utmost fidelity or to alter it with as much control as possible. Yamaha is an industry pioneer. We began to develop and manufacture our own integrated circuits as far back as 1969. And with each advance of the digital revolution, Yamaha has been in the vanguard. The innovative application of oh, look at that cool computer. principles by our engineers and scientists uh -huh. forms the resource of our technological leadership. But we don't stop at cutting-edge technology in our demand for excellence. Uh. Only the most select raw materials are suited for our use. And only accomplished master craftsmen can mold such materials into instruments fine enough to bear the Yamaha name. Gotta say, I love that type of stuff. expertise and human devotion to perfection. The uncompromising value you've come to expect from Yamaha. Is this a lost art, this type of video? I think it is. In keeping with that tradition of quality, we proudly present oh, a concept unparalleled. Sexy, sexy, history. man, sexy. The Yamaha Digital Home Theater. Pwah. <laughs> the last century has brought many innovative forms of entertainment into the home. Today, the digital revolution in home oh, entertainment a good offers new capabilities, qualities, and impact that can transform an ordinary... Oh, here's... Cue the... Cue the corn... The, the corny extra... That's the concept ah, this is exactly what I remember. Home theater, a series of Yamaha components that combine into the most powerful home entertainment experience that technology has ever delivered. Born from the dedication and craftsmanship of Yamaha engineers. Made possible by the computer and delivered by the refinement of laser technology. Ah, check out that splendor. Check it that. Isn't it amazing that out of the cold mathematics of ones and zeros could come a medium of such natural richness and pleasure? Few music lovers forget their first audition of a CD player. No noise, no distortion, no clicks, no scratches, and a sound quality unlike anything ever heard outside the recording studio. You see, ordinary records are limited because they record actual impressions of the sound you hear on their surface. That allows all the physical flaws of the plastic itself to be heard. It limits the resolution and clarity. In other words, it simply is not a perfect mirror copy of the original master. To create a CD, the sound is first analyzed, made digital using microprocessor technology. Just remember you're watching this on an analog video of an analog laser disc. ...to a digital number value. 
This sound stream of numbers is encoded onto the silvery surface of the CD. So instead of recording a physical impression of the sound itself, it is the digital information about the sound that is recorded. Each disc a perfect mirror copy of the master tape. For playback, a laser beam scans the tiny impressions of ones and zeros on the CD disc. Then a converter, a digital to analog converter, turns the information back into sound waves. Ultimately, the quality of your CD listening experience depends on the quality of that conversion process. This is where Yamaha's advanced digital engineering... Oh, a CDX 5000. Yeah, I had one of those. Ah, oh, that was CD awesome. Players. Gorgeous players. Most people are already familiar with standard compact disc. But CDs are just the beginning of your journey into the Yamaha Digital Home Theater. If all this digital coding works for sound waves, it stands to reason that video waves can also be digitized onto a disc. CDV is the next logical step in CD technology. These golden discs contain 20 minutes of crystal clear audio and up to 5 minutes of high resolution video. A whole new opportunity to enjoy, explore and collect the world. Of These guys are going for crazy money on eBay now. Absolute crazy, crazy money. Don't want to get a copyright strike, so we'll just tune on that for now. But basically, um, those video titles are going for crazy money on eBay, and I wouldn't waste my money on them because they all suffer from extreme laser rot. And uh, they're like the worst of the worst uh, laser discs to collect. Um, which is a shame, because I've got a few of those. Um, okay, back to the program. Next is laser disc. Laser discs have been around for a while. They look very much like large CDs. That's because they are. State-of-the-art laser discs combine up to 60 minutes of high-resolution video with digital audio. Heading laser discs' endless list of virtues is their unmatched audio and visual quality. They far exceed anything else in the home, including network, cable, or tape. Then there is the flexibility of instant queuing, instant access by chapter, or by frame, with special effects that let you study each moment with perfect clarity. I love the TV Fast with the wooden side panels. <laughs> All these formats are variations on the same technology. Each format a deserving enhancement to home entertainment. So, Yamaha engineers combined all these technologies into one playback machine. Whatever format is inserted, CD, CDV, or laser disc, the player recognizes it and automatically adjusts to the format. The Yamaha Combination Player is the perfect audio-visual source for the Yamaha Digital Home Theater. But there is another Yamaha component that takes the concept into a whole new dimension, literally. In May of 1986, Yamaha introduced the DSP-1 digital sound field processor a concept so revolutionary in the audio world the dsp1 earned instant acclaim from reviewers and audio critics worldwide it's easily the most important audio product released since the beginning of the compact disc era the ultimate the in audio and video sound experience the improvements range from substantial to mind-boggling the award-winning dsp technology is a logical extension of yamaha's digital audio expertise so basically, this is a lot of uh, Yamaha tooting its own uh, tooting its own horn. But uh, let's just say, if you had someone in your showroom of your hi-fi shop, and they had watched up to this point in the laser disc already, um, you're either going to get a sale or you're going to chuck them out of your showroom, because either way, um, yeah, it was just kind of like, mm, okay, dude, you know, mm, make up your mind. They say if someone's going to buy something, they know within the first sort of 30 seconds if they're actually going to buy it. Um, and that was one of the things in hi-fi sales. You just kind of had to, you had to suss out the people. Um, most people were just having a look, but, uh, this kind of thing really did attract people. They were very interested, but, uh, in the end, we kind of got kind of sly about 
how to show these videos and we only showed them to the people we really felt were going to going to do something ab about getting something like this but um really just a good memory for me having let's skip forward a little bit yeah uh it does ah feature films all right let's just see uh, what we got oh there we go so they said so they suggested that they show us a clip of the movie and then they show the setting dolby surround And that's kind of where I'm going to have to pause it because the rest of it is kind of um, all about music and movies. Let's just see if there's a little end of the... Uh, oh, not Swan Lake. Not Swan Lake. Oh, no, not classical. Please, not classical. I've never been a huge fan of classical. And you'll probably say, oh, no, classical music is just amazing. And yes, I do get that. And um, my wife's late father is uh, was a classical musician play the double bass and uh, my sister also a classical musician worked in the orchestra playing the, the first violin but I think it's about hearing those instruments being tortured as they're practicing that has put me off uh, classical music um, yeah <laughs> here is some nice interlacing for you hard to simulate that on anything else so yeah I've shown this to you on a uh, good old-fashioned uh, CRT TV. Yeah, so that kind of wraps it up for now. That was just a kind of a bit of a fun show and tell. Things that I do when I'm on holiday and I see things like this and I go, ooh, I've always wanted that one. I can do more of these if you'd like. I could do them uh, in a different way, perhaps, if you like. But for now, it's Howard from AV Transfers digitizing and playing with all sorts of analog things saying ciao for now. And if you like, please like and subscribe. I could use the subscribers. Cheers.